So my neighbor decided that he wanted some uh, live edge walnut countertops, so he cut uh, his walnut tree down, and uh, we already milled up the uh, from the trunk up. Uh, we got a 14 footer. Uh, I didn't get that one recorded. We were just too excited to get into it. But this is the next chunk. It looks like it's about. No, oh, we'll see. It is probably close to 10 feet long. That's 11 foot long. Um, there is a crotch right here, so that should have some good grain. And there's a, a knot or something right here, so that might get a little cool. I don't know. Hopefully there's no rot in there because the limb's pretty well gone. Um, yesterday, it gets dark about 6.30, and I got this on the mill about 5.30. Um, there was a nice bow in it, so I got my first cut so I can roll it over and get a reference face here. Uh, I'm going to get a couple of uh, nine quarter uh, slabs out of here. That way, um, for filler, since the tree's not quite big enough to do a whole countertop in one slab, uh, we might have to put two pieces on. So this will give us some good fill wood. Um, and if not, then we can use it for other projects. But uh, I'm going to warm up the uh, sawmill and get everything lubed up and ready to go.
<clears throat> Still has an awful lot of sapwood in this one. So the next one should be better, but right here it's a little knot hole. Only goes down about the first knuckle of my finger though, so it should be gone after this lab. Alright, this should be in the crotch wood now. There it is. It's yeah, figured from about here to here. So that's a good 16 inches or so. I'll go ahead and get some water on that and see how much the uh, green pops. So I ended up getting five slabs out of this, um, four of them were two and a quarter. The last one was like two and an eighth. Um, this is what was left. But, but uh, behind me, you can see that's that pile back there has already been stickered. It was the first trunk we did. It, those are the 14 footers. Um, I think it was 22 inch diameter um, at the base of it. Plus it had a nice wide crotch on there. Okay, so I'm going to get these things uh, stickered and stacked up. Um, I have a couple of ash trees that I'm going to get milled up. Um, I want to do a butcher block countertop for our island and uh, have a bunch of maple saved up, but I was wanting to mix up some colors. Uh, maybe some maple, some walnut, some ash or oak or something. So if you guys have any suggestions on what species would make a really good, uh, pretty looking uh, top, let me know. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, swap over from the uh, round bell spear. Oh, neighbor's driving by. I'm going to switch over from the round bell spear and put the bucket on and uh, see if I can get that loaded in here. Can't wait for some nice weather so I actually take this thing out of the barn and load it from the side. Um, it's got these nice little ramps on here but I can't use them in here. And uh, just loading them is a pain. It's tight. I've got a couple inches from the door and the wall on each side of my bucket and then if if the logs you know shifts or something I don't want it to take out the door so it'll be nice to get some dry weather it's, it hasn't stopped raining since last spring it's ridiculous so uh, I'm looking forward to hopefully some dry weather this summer and actually crank out a whole bunch of uh, logs it takes way too long to load one log at a time from a tractor just be nice to have them all in a row have a little hand winch just rolling right up on so we'll see.